Welcome everybody to the King's Academy Theatre Company's production of The Light in the Piazza. We're so excited to be able to produce this here at the King's Academy this year and for many reasons I feel like theatre is more important than ever. But I'm very, very privileged to be able to work with such a talented group of students. But especially on this project, The Light in the Piazza, this Broadway show was based on a novel um, written in 1960 and it's uh, set in Florence, Italy in the 1950s, but this musical was produced on Broadway in 2006 and it was nominated for 11 Tony Awards and it won six, including Best Musical, Best Orchestration, and you'll, you'll see why when you, get, when you get the chance to see this show. But it's a beautiful project and, and I love the story of love and I love the story of family and this musical in particular deals with both of those themes. And, and I feel like more than ever now in the time that we're in, we need to really cherish both of those themes. And, and having our students um, have the opportunity to work on this project um, this year in particular has been really rewarding. But more important than that, I feel that here at the King's Academy, we hold in high regard the, the thought of cultivating our students' gifts and not only their musical gifts, but their spiritual and their emotional gifts that each of them hold. And I feel like this show enhances um, every bit of that. And I feel that it allows our students to develop themselves um, as better people, as better Christians, um, as better friends, as better sons and daughters. And, um, and it's been a joy to watch them grow in that way on our stage. And I'm just so thankful for the opportunity to produce uh, Mr. Gettle's fantastic score here on our stage. And, and it's, a, it's been a, a true joy and reward um, just seeing this project come to life. And so I'm so excited that you get the chance to see it in your own homes tonight. Many of our students have had the opportunity to share with me why they love this show so much and why this has meant so much to them. And, and I've asked them to share with you, the audience at home, why this project has meant so much to them. And, um, and I think you're gonna really enjoy hearing what has brought such joy to our students' lives and such uh, richness to their growth here at the King's Academy. So take a watch and take a listen. I have absolutely loved this opportunity to work on the light in the piazza and be a part of this project. Um, and I find it to be an incredibly special show. Developing a character like Margaret has been a very interesting process um, as playing a 50 year old woman is something that's just so different and something I've never done before. When I found out that I was going to be playing Margaret, the first thing that I did was really start people watching. How they moved, how they talked, how they walked, and especially when developing how Margaret speaks and she has a very sing-songy kind of voice with a southern lilt and so that's been super fun to work on and make my own. I think Franca Nacarelli as a character in the whole has taught me a lot about not just my art and what I love to do, but has taught me how to just be a better person because of her constant theme of forgiveness and family. It's really shown me that no matter what you go through in life, you can always be the bigger person and forget and forgive. I haven't really had the opportunity to play someone, number one, like a character who's like a real person. Um, and number two, someone who's like older than me because they've lived life and I haven't. So I have to take things that I've learned from other people, like my grandfather, like um, different people in my life. For this show, I use a Southern dialect from my character Roy Johnson, who is from North Carolina. Ironically, both my parents are from North Carolina and my mother growing up on a farm, they have quite strong Southern accents. So I was able to learn this specific dialect very easily as I've grown up hearing it my whole life. As a mother of three daughters, certainly the mother-daughter relationship that you see in the production almost brings me to tears every night when Clara tells her that she can't leave. Because I know that one day that day is coming for me as well when my daughters get married and start their own families. Just getting the opportunity to play such like a real and mature character while Giuseppe does have his moments, it's such a, like, a difficult thing to grasp as an actor, especially coming off our last project of Cinderella. It was such like a fun and comedic and fictional time, but like with this, like just the ideologies and things we have to grasp 
often go over high school students' heads. So as an actor, it just really helps us to be able to develop our intellectual property and become better actors and actresses. The love story of Clara and Fabrizio is one that all people can connect to, no matter what they've experienced in their walk of life. Um, and I think it's because this love story that we share uh, really touches on newness and discovery and innocence, um, which is something that I feel all people look for, whether it is for the love of their life or just in their relations with other people. Um, and I think a really important part of it too is feeling known and yeah. feeling seen mm -hmm. and how we all feel whether it is we experience our passion that's finally ours or f uh, freedom from what the mundane, what we've always experienced. And I think that's what this love story is able to capture. And even at the end of the story, uh, Clara still comes to Fabrizio uh, questioning whether she's been seen or not. And to she's found something, found someone that does understand her and does see her. And she's found such solace in that, in something that she couldn't have gotten anywhere else. Oh, exactly. And I think also when, when looking at the show, I think a lot of people will appreciate it because they also feel uh, like they want to be known and some people don't exactly feel like they want to be known. And like when you look at it from a Christian perspective, some people uh, need to understand that they're known by Christ even from birth. So when you look at the characters of Fabrizio and Clara, it's like they not only find out so much about each other, but they, they find out what their purpose is and their role in the yes. world is. And, you know, when we mm -hmm. look at just a real life perspective, that's what we can also do as children of Christ. We can, we can look at what our role is and how we can serve and expand His kingdom. And I think it has such a positive message and that's something that we really need right now is positivity and light in the world. And it can be something as simple as the happiness of another person, which is so important. And I just think that the midst of everything going on right now in the world, we really could use some light. As we've had to restructure our season this year here at the theater company, we've decided to change our lineup of shows and uh, Light in the Piazza was one of the first things that came to my mind. I felt like we needed it at this moment in time. I felt like I had the perfect cast to produce this show. And, um, and I, I really thought long and hard about why we should start our season with this show. And um, I won't, won't lie to you all, I was sort of apprehensive about even coming back to theater and producing on stage again. And, and our publishing company, Concord, has been so, so helpful in helping us um, develop uh, streaming services for our patrons and, and, and so forth. But I will tell you, as we developed protocol for our students to return to rehearsal, to return to what they love, it, it was a little daunting. And my entire production team worked really, really hard on um, developing incredible safety protocol for each of our students and their families and our rehearsals looked much different. Um, our students were here on stage, but they were in masks. Um, our students took frequent and very regular COVID tests. They sacrificed a lot to be a part of this production, to do something that they love to do again, to bring it to you, to your homes. Um, as we thought about producing the show in this beautiful space, I knew that it was gonna be an empty house that they would play to. And it was something that we had to really think long and hard about. Do they really love theater this much that they would bow to an empty house? And it was something that they knew that this, is, this was part of what God was calling them to do. And it was something that they, that they hold very dear to their hearts. And, and they all came to their first rehearsal with a great deal of gratitude, but even more of a, of a greater ambition to produce the best quality show they've ever produced here at the King's Academy. And I think that's exactly what they've done. In the process of keeping our students safe, keeping their families safe, keeping our orchestra safe, we've thought long and hard about opening our house to a live audience, and at this time we're unable to do so. So then we determined that we were going to create the best film that we could to bring to you all and it's allowed our students a really different perspective of theater. Um, they're now working in front of a camera. They're working in front of a different lighting and uh, the staging and the blocking is slightly different than what they would do when they would perform in a, in a regular show. But I do feel that as theaters um, 
figure out how they're going to open up across the country. It is something that takes a, a great deal of thought. But I also know that the art of theater, this American art form that we all love so much, is needed. And I feel that our families, our students, need this opportunity, they need to grow. And more than that, I feel that our audience members need to see theater again. I think it's part of who we are as, as humans and who we are as American citizens. It's what grows us into becoming a better society. So I'm so thankful that the King's Academy has allowed us the opportunity to develop safety protocol, has been able to financially make these things happen for us. And we're thrilled that because of following this very regimented protocol, our students have stayed safe and stayed healthy so that we can bring this beautiful project to you tonight. I also really think that this story is something that is so unique and something that makes this show so special because it's such a beautiful and genuine representation of human connection, which is something that you don't really get from other projects. And the ability to showcase that vulnerability that we all have and finding that in this specific project has been so wonderful. Ever since I was about eight years old, I've been performing on various stages in various settings. And then the occurrence that happened at the beginning of this year, COVID-19, struck our world in such an unprecedented way that took several aspects of our humanity away from us. Being quarantined at home it wasn't really something that like I really enjoyed. I couldn't really perform for an audience as much as I wanted to. It specifically robbed several of us of what we love to do, our passion, our desire, something that fuels us, something that gives us light and energy, the thing that we wake up in the morning yearning to do. And it's one of those cliche things that you don't realize how much you take something for granted until it's not there anymore. Being here at the King's Academy and getting this opportunity to do the Light in the Piazza this season while we're still in the midst of a pandemic has been such an amazing opportunity. I have never wanted to be a part of a show more than I have because I've been so eager to get back on the stage, to get back to doing what I love to do, what I believe I was made to do. The Light in the Piazza, I feel, is a story that everyone needs now. Around the themes of family and love, human connection, vulnerability, protective instincts. How do we feel about each other? Are we going to be vocal about it or aren't we? A perfect resemblance of what we've all been going through because all of us have been separated. We've been quarantining, we've been away from each other and now we are able to unite in this project. And so to see that showcased, maybe not in person, on a screen, is so important because it will connect us again. And a show about connection and about being genuine about these connections is so important because I feel that we just went through a time of, and we're going through a time of lacking it. Coming back and just being on stage, not even performing for a live audience, is something that like I really enjoyed. It's It gives me that feeling of, wow, I'm, I'm giving someone a show, even though no one's really in the audience. So now that we see the importance of it in these times, a story like this is what everyone will relate to so deeply. And that ability to relate to each other being so pertinent right now makes this story even more special and even more necessary in our times. I've been in this business for a very long time and I've seen our students uh, graduate from the King's Academy, leave our stage, go to the top colleges in the country, and then pursue their dreams on the Broadway stage. It's been fun for my wife and I to sit in the front row of those Broadway theaters and watch them perform. But I, I think back to the time when I get them in the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth grade, and they come to us and they have dreams. But more importantly, I look at the students that need a place to find themselves. And that's what theater does for the high school student. It allows them to find uh, a family, allows them to find confidence, allows them to build their confidence, and 
oftentimes it allows them to find something that they're really good at. And I do believe that I'm held responsible to cultivating their gifts here at the King's Academy, and I, and, and I am thrilled to be able to do that every day for hundreds of students here at King's. And I feel theater allows our students to find something new within themselves, new within their creator, and it allows our students to, more importantly, find that whether they pursue this on the collegiate level or not, they have gained confidence in who they are. They've gained a sense of, of belonging, a sense of being known, a sense of being valued. And that's why I feel theater for any student is important. But that's why I, I've been in this business for as long as I have. And, and I think as we worked on Light in the Piazza, I feel that a project like this, is it's pretty highbrow. Um, the score is, is, is pretty tough. And, um, but it makes our students appreciate um, such difficult work. I do feel that when we raise the bar high, they reach it, they, they, they get there. And, um, and, and we're gonna continue to do that here at King's. And I think this project itself has sort of set us up in a much different way. I think we're very thankful for the opportunities to come back and work during COVID, but I feel like our students have a, a, a renewed sense of gratitude and a renewed sense of work ethic. And they, they've come back ready to, to work even harder. And I think that has allowed them to find such success in this project itself. So I'm so thankful that, um, that we were able to take this challenge and, and really, really do exceptionally well with it. It's been both a privilege and a pleasure working with the students for the production of The Light in the Piazza. This music is extraordinary and difficult. This music is also at the graduate level of college or professional, and I've been amazed at what these kids can do, and they are kids, and it's hard to remember that sometimes. Obviously because of this challenging yet emotionally engaging score for not only the actor and the singer, but also uh, the listener. I have never studied a project quite like this one before, and it has really allowed me to develop a specific appreciation for the work that has been at hand. Mr. Adam Gettle continues to amaze us all the way up until the very last day of our performances just because of the different nuances we've been able to discover. It's really allowed us to develop our literary analysis of the characters individually and also as the themes that present as a whole. The show has really challenged me in many different aspects. Um, one of them is staying present in a scene, whether I'm talking to someone or if I'm not. What I'm doing outside of the scene, um, what I'm doing backstage, staying present throughout the whole process. This show has been so instrumental in my learning process just as a student, and I really feel like I have found myself in this show, and it has really helped me to realize that this is what I was put on this earth to do and I'm just so grateful and thankful to this project and everybody that's been involved. And I showed up completely ready to learn and ready to take on the challenge and that's exactly what I did and here five weeks later I feel like I've been crash coursed into this program and I feel like I couldn't have asked for anything more. The cast was so welcoming to me and they allowed me to be comfortable and come in and just and do my part and help be a part of the group and make a good show and on top of that, I learned so much each and every day. It felt like I was kind of playing catch up, allowing me to kind of learn new technique and learn how to actually act and portray emotions on stage. And now that I'm here, it's, it's a dream come true. I even said to Mr. Snyder when I first came in audition that being on this stage is like being on Broadway and I couldn't ask for anything more. Having our students come back to King's Academy and work again has allowed me to value what I do in a different way. And it has allowed me to look at our students differently as well. There's a line at the end of the show that Margaret says, she sings, love if you can and be loved in return. And I feel like our goal now is to love as hard as we can because we don't know what tomorrow is going to hold for us. And I feel like this show has, has given us that, has given us that opportunity. And I think for all of you at home that are watching this, I hope that you have not just watched a beautiful love story on your on your screens, but you you know how loved you are, how valuable you are. And I know here at the King's Academy, we know that 
We are ultimately loved by the greatest love of all, our Savior Jesus Christ. And if our students can comprehend that, I'm hoping that you can comprehend that as well through this film. And um, I'm hoping that through everything that we've experienced in these months, I hope that we love differently. I hope that we love better. I hope that we love harder. I hope that we are loved in return better. That we're loved in return harder. And, and most of all, I hope that as we continue this path that we're on, that we see each other better. We hold each other in higher value and we look at each other a little bit differently. And I hope that's what you all can do tonight as you watch our film. Thanks for watching.